Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your weekend reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this, Virgo. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Virgo, let's see what the energy is this weekend. Mm, the Nine of Swords, that's your energy. Um, okay. Uh, so I think you just have to realize something, okay? I think you come into a realization on something, okay? In terms of um, maybe how nice you have been, how you, how you have been a humanitarian, how you have been giving, how you have been, you know, Altruistic with what's that? Well, I just really messed that damn word up. You have experienced, or you have been very altruistic. Okay, I'm about to hang this up. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> okay, altruism. Yeah. You have been that. You have been giving. You have been selfless. You have been, um, you have been everything. And I don't think you've gotten that in return here or vice versa. This is how someone feels, you know, in terms of dealing with you. This is a solidary energy. So it's just about you and you really going over something and trying to make sense of it. Trying to gain knowledge from it. Um... I think you really have to just really rest in that energy of emotions and thoughts and um, you're really asking yourself is this it is it over is this what is to come is this the end here is this the beginning of the end or is this the end altogether it's almost as if you you really have to sit and grieve something that you're not together or that you you're estranged or that something is not coming together in the fashion you want it to come together um you're not sleeping well you're, you're sleeping in spurts you know it's like you shift sleeping i don't know if something is waking you up or someone is waking you up um it's dark okay or your thoughts are dark in terms of um a relationship or a person or a job or your your prospects or your outcome things are dark or heavy for you right now well, let's see what you're not aware of the two of swords could be dealing with a lot of swords here I don't know if you got cut off or somebody else got cut off um, the two of swords could be dealing with so this is uh, Gemini. Then we have Libra. So you can be dealing with air signs here. Um, what you're not aware of that is still opportunity for you, this person, or you, this energy to come back together. But there has to be a plan here. If you come back together and it's just more doing, and there's no plan, there's no end game, there's no goal, there's no structure, there's no course of action taken, then it's going to turn karmic. It's going to turn into, you know, a situation of just doing. And there's no end to it, okay? Um, so make sure if you do come back together with someone, you have a plan. What are you going to do? What are we doing? We'll have milestones. We'll have an agenda set for the two of us. It says that you need to weigh your pros and cons of this connection. Do you really want it? It says that... There is lack of clarity with the Two of Swords here. Um, there's a power struggle. Someone wants to do this, and the other person wants to do that. Someone, the other person needs to get on the other person's um, bandwagon. Uh, there has to be a leader and a follower. Not saying that there has to be a lesser and a greater, but how is this energy shifting? Where is it going? Who is guiding it? There's no guidance. There's no. There's nothing here. It's, again, there's an opportunity for reconciliation and reunion, but make sure it, it will stick. You guys will stay together. What will help? Okay. Um, 
temperance and the nine of pentacles so you've got to come into some realization energy of um, your own power your own value of uh, knowing that you can do this on your own that you're a good catch that you can start this thing on your own or that um the temperance card here knowing that uh, what will help you is getting out of this temporary energy of feeling lack or loss okay or less than okay lack of confidence lack of finances lack of whatever or loss you've got to get out of that temporary energy and kind of get back to a balanced state of being you have to kind of move in in that energy of resting on yourself or resting in your own um power here um the nine of pentacles talks about relying on self doing for self um lack of intimacy you're already if you're in a relationship then it's like the two of you are moving independently anyhow it's like you need to rest or settle in the fact that right now you are single this is single this is you need to put focus on you solidarity it seems as if you focus this on a relationship or coming back together um you're regretting something there's remorse you don't know how to come back there's been a lot of time that has elapsed you don't know if there's something else or someone else it says that you just need to put energy in you, on you. Um, you know, people are attracted to confidence. And, and people who have a high esteem of themselves. You know, very rarely are people attracted to lap dogs and people who are, can be easily manipulated or taken advantage of. This is what I have for you, Virgo. If it resonates, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question. You can text the question to the number below. Thank you, Virgo. Many blessings to you. Take care.